Good morning, everyone. Good morning. How's everyone doing today? Come on in, come on in. Uh, for those of you who are joining us on the replay, thank you so much for coming in and checking us out. And don't forget, if you're here on Periscope, those hearts do work. So if you hear me uh, giving some ideas or um, just sharing different things and you feel that it's useful content, and you're appreciating what it is that you're hearing, go ahead and tap on that screen. That's going to give me a lovely little flow of hearts and let me know that I am uh, doing something worthwhile here for you. So uh, for those of you coming in, thank you so much for joining us live as well. It's good to see you all. Hello, hello. Uh, so as you're coming in, if you are joining us live for the very first time, uh, would you please just put a one in the box along with your first name? so that I can welcome you properly. Uh, and to all my regulars coming in, it's so good to see you guys this morning. All right, uh, so how's everyone doing? Good morning, Bill. You've been here before, Bill, but it's been a while, I think, since I've seen you on here. Um, thank you for those hearts already. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes, I thought so, I thought so. Okay. All right. Well, we are going to um, go ahead and get started. But again, uh, I would just like to thank each and every one of you for joining me. We still have a few popping in here. So I understand that you guys really could have spent your time anywhere this morning. So I appreciate that you popped in here to join me. Um, good morning to you. So thank you all so much for joining. Uh, and of course, if you know anybody uh, in direct sales who has their own business or things like that, and you think that um, maybe you've watched me before and, and you feel like I'm going to be providing some kind of content that might be useful for them, please feel free to go ahead and invite your followers. So to do that, you would either uh, swipe up or swipe over depending on your device, or you can click the little Perry man down there in the corner, and that will allow you to share the broadcast, and you can either share with all followers or select few. It's totally up to you. Okay, uh, and those of you who might be here who maybe don't know who I am, my name is Buffy Hood. I am a jeweler with Premier Designs Jewelry. I've been with them for over nine years now. And needless to say, over the years, I have simply learned some different things in terms of my business. And this is just my way of being able to share uh, my experiences. Okay, all right, give me one second. I need to holler at my doggie. Hair dog, Kara. Kara, she's going nuts on her bowl, and I don't know why there's nothing in it. <laughs> so she's making all kinds of noise in the background. Kara, come here. Um, so, so sorry about that. What are you going to do? Dogs, they do not understand live camera, right? Um, so we are going to jump right into it, okay? So I happened to come across this, and I thought, how true, okay? So the quote says, how many Mondays have been and gone since you said, I'll start next week, take action and start today? So how many uh, procrastinators do we have out there today? Do we have some procrastinators out there? Anybody, anybody, or am I truly the only one? <laughs> procrastination is something, yes, procrastination is something um, that I am, many of you may have heard me say before that I am a recovering procrastinator. Um, and what that means is it's something that I've truly struggled with all my life. Um, and, you know, I used to have the mentality of I'm going, well, you know, I just work better when I'm under pressure. You know, I just work better when I'm dealing with deadlines or things like that. And, and truly, I don't. Okay. Um, Truly, I don't. It was it was just more of a way that I tried to justify what I was doing, okay? Um, and in my head, I thought, well, it must be because when, when I get close to the deadline, then I'm able to, you know, kind of laser focus and, and get this done. And um, leading up to that, I would feel like I just couldn't gather my thoughts or I just couldn't. And truly, it wasn't that I needed the deadline to do it. It was that I needed the discipline to do it. So whether I would have done it last minute or if I would have done it when I had plenty of time, chances are if I would have done it when I had plenty of time, I actually would have done better because I would have had more time to truly think things through. I would have had more time to 
um, kind of have everything right where I needed it instead of feeling like I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off kind of thing. Okay, can anyone else relate? Put a one in the box if you can relate to that. Um, but needless to say, it's something where over the years I have been trying to get much better. Thank you for those ones. I've been trying to get much better about doing it when I should instead of doing it when I have to. I hope that makes sense. Okay. Um, so in fact, we even kind of talked about this with our kids a little bit yesterday. They're going to be uh, going on a out-of-state mission trip, and um, our daughter's boyfriend, he brought all of his paperwork yesterday, brought it to church, had, you know, everything taken care of, whatever. So I asked our girls, I said, so, you know, did you guys get your paperwork taken care of? Well, no, we have till Wednesday. Okay, but what happens if Wednesday you forget it? You know, so we were just kind of going over that type thing. Like they could have done it ahead of time, um, but they didn't because they have a deadline. So I'm trying to get out of them as well. Don't wait till the deadline. Do it when, do it as soon as you are able. Okay. Now, sometimes it's not even a matter of dealing with deadlines. Sometimes it's just a matter of, um, because it doesn't have an actual deadline, it keeps being put off. Anybody able to relate to that? Put a one in the box. So um, maybe you have times where you don't really have a deadline for something. So therefore, this just keeps getting put off and put off and put off. Um, for those of us who have our own businesses, for me, one of the things that kept being put off and it never should have was thank you cards to my hostesses after the fact. Because it was well, I got to wait till she closes her show so that I can include a copy of her receipt and this and that. And then even when that would happen, it was, okay, well now, because I want to make the cards really cute and I want to have like all the words of affirmation that her friends would have said about her at the show, I want to have that done really cute in the card before I send that off. But well, I haven't had time to work on that. So then I haven't sent the card yet. And it's all these, all these different things. And, and for me, I know one of my problems is I am a perfectionist and a procrastinator and they don't work well together. So, <laughs> so I tend to get the mentality of until I can sit down and do it 110% right, I'm not going to do it. Well, then what happens is I put it off so long, so long, so long that then I'm looking going, okay, look, it's been a month and a half since this woman had her show and I still have not sent her thank you card that then I wind up just sending a thank you card, even without all the pretty frilly little things, but it is simply a handwritten thank you card. And I guarantee you that means just as much to her as if I would have done it the, the cute, you know, frilly way with all these words of affirmation and everything else on it. Um, chances are she's still going to appreciate it. But in my head, it wouldn't have been right unless I did it this way. Does that make sense? Um, but instead, then I just keep putting it off and putting it off. And so I am trying to get out of the habit of doing that. I'm trying to get out of the habit of doing things when they need to be done instead of saying, I'll do it tomorrow or I'll do it next week. Okay. So that's kind of where it is that I'm going with this is if we are not acting in our business, if we're not performing activity in our business and we keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off so maybe it's contacting those ladies that um, have said that they want to have a show and they've yet to put a date on the calendar maybe you've been putting that off okay maybe it is someone who once mentioned that maybe they might sort of kind of be interested in the business and you shared a little bit about it and then they said well you know what now's not really the time but keep in touch with me When's the last time you've reached out to her? Okay. So you really want to kind of look at all those different things of if we are not putting action into our business, if we're not being active in our business, it's not going to matter if we wait till next week or the week after or the week after, because before we know it, we won't have a business. Okay. So just like whether it has to do with 
working out, okay, or whether it has to do with your business or whether it has to do with paying your bills or whatever, if you keep putting that activity off, you are keeping yourself further from your results for a longer period of time, okay? And, and that's something that I had to start looking at is to say, you know what, if I want these results faster, I need to put in some activity sooner, okay? Um, so if we keep putting it off, simply for, and many times, I don't know about y'all, but how many of you ever truly have a good reason, not an excuse, but a good reason to procrastinate? Has anyone ever had that? If you have, put a one in the box because I'd love to hear what reasons might be for procrastination. And chances are you don't have them because there really is no reason, no good reason to procrastinate. <laughs> Jenny, I'm glad. <laughs> Listen, I all I can say is much of this, it, it has to be the Lord because, um, Listen, I, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, because much of this I'm hearing for the first time myself. Okay, so I know this isn't me. This is him. Okay, so somebody needs to hear this. And I, I know that I do. Okay, so, <laughs> so please bear with me and know that I am not just preaching at any one of you. This is just as much for me as it is for you all. Okay. Um, so I know for myself, I have to start getting better about, for one, um, making lists. Um, Tanya, I, I'm telling you, he, he's good, isn't he? He's good. <laughs> okay. So first off, that might be making lists. That might be making sure that you are, you know, writing things down for what needs to be done. Okay. So it might mean taking a moment and going, okay, I really need to think about this. What are the things that I've been putting off that I know have to be done, okay? And make yourself a list. And then guess what? Then, then guess what we do? We get to work and we go do those things. And we work on those things until that list is completed, okay? Because once that list is completed of things that we continued to, yes, don't forget to do the things on the list, exactly. Once those things on that list have been completed, you can then focus on things that should be done and it can be done in a timely manner without it being that, well, because I still have so much here that wasn't taken care of, now it just keeps building up and building up and building up and you feel like you never, ever, ever get caught up, okay? So stop putting yourself in that position. Write down a list of things that you have already put off for way too long and they need to get done today, okay? And then you get to work and you get them done today. Anything that doesn't get done today moves to tomorrow's list, along with things that should be done, okay? Because there again, if we start working on things before they actually have to be finished, then it gives us a little bit of leeway. Okay, we have we have a little bit of time to fully get that done. All right. But we don't again, we don't want to be waiting until it's kind of, you know, it's timing seems really off or that it's truly behind on the deadline that we had originally wanted. Okay. So if you're someone who works on deadlines and, and that's that's what you need, then give yourself a deadline for those things. All right. So as an example, if you're someone who tends to procrastinate and you constantly are bringing it right down to the, to the deadline, then maybe your hostess thank you notes need to have a deadline, okay? And, and don't let yourself slide on that, all right? Because here's the thing. For those of you in Premiere, and I'm going to talk specifically to you here for just a moment, and really... I mean, it, it goes with pretty much any direct sales business. We all have the end of the accounting period or the end of promotional deadlines, okay? How many of us work our tails off to make sure that we get things in by that deadline? Put a one in the box. If you have been there at crunch time getting things done at the deadline and you do it, you actually get it done, 
okay? So what if you pretended that everything you needed to do actually had a deadline? So maybe it is to contact those ladies who um, have been wanting, you know, who have said they'll do a show, but they simply haven't committed to a date. What if you give yourself a deadline and say, by the end of the week, I need to reach out to every single one of those ladies. And then you do it. Even if it means that on Friday at eight o'clock, you are finally contacting every single one of those people. But I would urge you not to do that because guess what? If you seem like you are, how do I want to say this? If you are rushed, you're not going to give 100% of yourself, okay? If you are rushed, you're going to just kind of rush through it and it's just going to be, well, it is whatever it is. But here's what, I, here's what I'll say. There are some people who are perfectionists and Tanya, I'm going to talk to you for a moment because you and I have had this conversation, <laughs> okay? So for those of us who are perfectionists, we tend to want everything so perfectly right that we just continue to keep putting it off until we can make it 100% but then nothing's getting done because we never find ourselves in a position where we have enough time to make it 100% correct. So sometimes bringing it down to a deadline is going to make you go get it done. Even if it's less than perfect, it was still done. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. So I, I hope that's making sense to y'all that, you know, sometimes there again, if, if we are someone who tends to feed off of those, de those deadlines, then give yourself deadlines for when things need to be finished. You can even mark those out on your calendar to say, okay, this needs to be done on this day. No ifs, ands, or buts. It's not being moved to another day. It needs to go here. Okay. And then do it. All right. So for many of you, you know that I have created my to-do list. Okay, that has the my entire weekly schedule. How many of you, by show of one in the box, think that I've actually been using that list? And how many of you, by showing two in the box, think that that is just another thing that is currently sitting on my desk? I'd be curious. Okay, we got some ones. We got a two. Who else? Anyone else want to chime in? <laughs> one and a half. <laughs> Love it. Well, for those of you who said two, you would be correct. Because here's what happened. Again, it came down to, well, um, I need, I, you know, I want this list, but I'm really thinking that maybe I should make this list a little bit smaller so that it can go into my calendar so that I can continue to have that list with me wherever I'm at instead of having it in a three ring binder. And well, I haven't had time to make that smaller and I haven't had time to go through my, cal my calendar to be able to make room for it, to get some of the other stuff out of there. So blah, 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 blah. So it hasn't even been touched. Hasn't even been touched. Okay. So needless to say, I did use it for the first week or two. And then it got to where it was more sporadic. It was like every once in a while I'd pull it out and use it. And then it got to be where I didn't even touch it. And just in the back of my mind, I kept going, I've got to get my calendar taken care of. I know, right, Kelly? I'm telling you, <laughs> such an amazing revelation. <laughs> okay, so needless to say, guess what's on my to-do list today? My to-do list today is going to be for me to finally sit down. Very And here's the thing, most of the things that we put off aren't going to take us but about five or 10 minutes. So why do we keep putting it off? Like that is so dumb to me. It's so dumb. And then we just sit there and we keep having this thing like hanging over our head of this still isn't done. This still isn't done. This still isn't done. And we, we are constantly focusing on this. And then to realize it really, when we finally sit down to do it, it takes us five, 10 minutes max. Why are we allowing it to have control of our thoughts? for all those weeks, sometimes months, and it would have taken us five or 10 minutes to do. So what if today you sat down and you took care of those things that would seriously take you five or 10 minutes to do? 
and you just knocked them all out. You just got them out of the way. Like how much easier would you, you know, be able to go through things? Um, actually, the, the to-do list is going to be the same. The only thing that I have to do different is instead of printing it full page, I'm going to be printing it in a five by seven. That's, I mean, that is seriously the only thing that's going to be different because I just wanted to go in my six by nine. So I have a six by nine binder versus a, what, nine by 11 and a half or whatever binder. So I just need to put it into a smaller, like it's done. I even have it done as a, a JPG. It's done as a picture file. So all I have to do is change the size of it and go through my calendar to get out anything that doesn't need to be in there so that I have more room in my binder so that I can add these, these to-do list pages in there. That's all I got to do. Like, I mean, seriously, it would not take me that much time. But the problem is my mind works in the craziest of ways because, again, I don't know how many of you are guilty with this, but it, it may give you a little bit of an insight <laughs> to how my mind works. So let's say, as an example, we have company coming in for the weekend. I'm the fool who suddenly decides that, oh, you know what? That hallway closet really needs cleaned out. So instead of cleaning the rest of my house, which is really all I should be doing, is just dusting and vacuuming, I then suddenly decide that I need to pull everything out of my hallway closet and reorganize it. Now, mind you, nobody looks in my hallway closet. So it doesn't need to be organized. But in my mind, that's how it works, okay? I will have other times where I have something else I should be working on. And instead I go, oh, the lighting is perfect though. So I'm going to go play and I'm going to take pictures of the jewelry, okay? And before I know it, again, instead of my house being clean, I now have jewelry strung all across the dining room table. And I have things all over, you know, my desk and everything out because I'm taking pictures because the lighting is good. In the meantime, all these other things that actually had to be done are not being done. Okay. Um, yes. Yes. And, and here's the thing. That's just it. I think in my mind, uh, it's kind of like, well, cleaning is a never ending thing. It just is. It just is. My house was clean yesterday, and I'm looking at it now going, really? Okay. But it's lived in. It's lived in. So there's always going to be something there to do. However, I also can't forget about my business things that need to be done. Now, taking photos, is it always necessary? Mm, not necessarily, but there are times where I post a picture of something, and I'll have somebody comment and go, I need that set. Can you please order it for me? So yes, there is something that comes with that, but at the same time, I'm going, but I, I have to be diligent about if this is what I'm to do today, then I need to do this. And then whatever time I have left, I can do those other things that I want to do. Okay. Not everything is have to do. A lot of it is want to do. So I need to get better about making sure that I'm taking care of the things that have to be done or should be done before I take care of the things that I want to do. So I hope that that spoke to somebody today. I, it seems like it probably spoke to several people today. Um, you know, but yes, I totally encourage you to sit and think about what it is that you've been putting off specifically. If there are people that you should have been calling about the business opportunity or should have been calling about getting shows on your calendars or should have been calling about someone who said, you know what, I can't get that piece this week, but, you know, at some point I would like to get that. Like, if you remember who that person was, <laughs> then go contact them, okay? So make today the day that you're going to reach out to those people, okay? Because then while you're waiting for those people to potentially get back to you, if, if you're having to leave a message or whatever, while you're waiting for them to get back to you, you can also then be working on the other things in your business that need to be done. So 
today, I'm encouraging you to get out there, take care of some of those things that are seriously just five to 10 minute jobs. And it's just a matter of you have not taken the time to stop long enough to work on those things and just get them done. Get them done, get them off your plate. You will feel so much freer because here's the thing, you won't have to feel guilty about taking time to do something you want to do when the things that you have to do or should have done are cleared off your plate. Okay? All right, y'all. I'm going to let you guys go. So I look forward to seeing you here tomorrow for our Tips and Tricks Tuesday. Um, so I haven't quite decided yet if that is going to be, it'll, it'll be something business related, probably more so than jewelry related, um, because I want to keep my jewelry for Fashion Fridays. Um, so we will just kind of play that by ear, but, um, but yeah, so I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Hope you have a blessed day. Hope you go out and get lots of things done. And I would love to hear from you guys tomorrow to see how that went. All right. Thank you guys. Have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye-bye.